Thursday morning and we are fishing Kamenata Pass Rock. We've been doing pretty well this morning so far. We are fishing live shrimp. We've got Tony and Tommy the Dream with us. Let's see what we're we doing. We got some hammers in there. We got we some got hammers. So we got Pretty nice little mess of fish already. We're searching for the big one. Got a few nice ones in there. Yeah, the, the tide's coming in at a little higher pace than I like. I, 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 most people like a strong tide. They think that's when the fish bite, but the way I fish freelining, uh, I like a medium tide to throw pogies at it. And when it's this strong, we throw shrimp at it. But I like to throw into the, we, we have an advantage here because the wind's coming straight out of the south and we're throwing towards the north. So we got the wind behind our back. It's awesome. So we can throw this free line real easy out there because of the wind helping us. And we throw it into the incoming current. The current's coming over the rocks and those trout sit below those rocks where they don't have to work too hard for their food. They lazy, the big ones. They just want the food to come to them. So that's where they sit in that, and when our shrimp gets low enough, they come out those rocks and, and eat it. And that's how it works on free line. All right. Catch a fish. Now the bad thing about this, we still on? Yeah. The bad thing about shrimp, that's why I like to use pogies and croakers, is because they got the bait stealers down there. They eat the legs off of a live shrimp. And if they do that, you're not gonna catch a trout. If you if your shrimp is like this, you might as well throw them away because it's not often you're gonna catch a trout unless the shrimp's alive. And when they eat your legs off, you're gonna die. Well, he's dead. So that's the bad thing about shrimp, but it's part of fishing. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta weed through the, the moments of, of those little, uh, I call them piranha. Camera? Yep. <laughs> now that you're on camera. Now that you're on camera. Let's see if I can get on this side. We'll this is a better side for you. We'll huh? You get my good side? Yeah, I'm getting the good side. <laughs> I don't drop yeah, my phone fish, in the water. These fish seem to be running in, uh, in packs. They, they probably come into that current, feeding a little bit, and getting out of the current, going rest behind those rocks, and then you know, come again and feed. Cause we'll catch them. We'll catch three or four and stop for a little while. Catch three or four and stop for a little while. We didn't have any of those legs eaten from the shrimp when we were hooking through the horn. We never had one of the piranha eat the legs off. I went tried through the tail, first one, because he can't get away. When you hook him through the horn, he can move and get away from that little fish. And the, but the trout catch him. So I like the head better in most cases. Camera shy. <laughs> My wife says that every time we go live. <laughs> for, uh, for everybody that just tuned in, we are fishing the Caminata Pass Rocks at Grand Isle. With should be no tide right now, right? Well, it showed that it's just coming in on the chart on a light tide, which is not the case. It's pretty strong. No. Yep, no. we're in would South Louisiana, remember? Patrick. You said Tommy B Dream, but you forgot to say. Hey Jordan. Tommy Big Fish. How big, how big was your, how many years in a row have you won the uh, Star Tournament? Well, my wife won a uh, year before last. Right. With a 6'8", and I won last year with a 7'2". Okay, so the last two years in a row. Yeah. 
I got, and two, I got, two nautic stars. Huh? I got lucky and caught a tag redfish also, so that's three boats in five years. Wow. But you didn't catch those big fish here, right? I caught some in here <laughs> and some at the oh, bars. I, I, I had a bite down there. But on, yeah, there's a lot of big fish them. here, you know. I just, I just missed a good fish right there, Tommy. You're probably about to catch one. This is the jungle for the big fish. You gotta have a lot, you gotta have a deep water, rocks, and current. And clear water for big fish. You, you, you're, not, you're not gonna catch a lot of big fish like we did today in uh, two feet of water in the marsh. I mean, it's just not gonna happen. They, they, the bigger fish are in the, in the deeper water where they can get out to the Gulf if they need to. The water gets dirty, the wind blows at 20 miles an hour, they can move out to the Gulf. Now, you said we pretty much have perfect conditions right now with yeah. the water. Yeah. See, the water is kind of a nice trout green. Nice and green. Y'all didn't see the fish we've been having. We've been catching these fish right here. Pretty much two to three pound fish, all of them. And, but we're looking for the six pound fish. And a couple fours in there. And a couple fours. Anything at 22 inches? Okay, we have a couple fours in there. You know what's happening right here? See this, what I just showed you on the last one? That's why I'm not getting a trout bite, because my shrimp is dead, because they, they eating the legs off of it, so I gotta replace them. So if you don't get a, a bite on the first cast, these little piranha fish found our bait, obviously. What are the piranha fish? Are there mangroves down no, there? No, it's or? those little uh, pinfish. They eat the legs off so fast. guys we're gonna come back now all right i'm gonna catch one hold on i'm gonna catch one right here i got Tommy a big shrimp that he's gonna catch one let's see that shrimp nice shrimp. Right here. all right get it way out and i'll, I'll give you a little rope set that hook <laughs> chris says he was here last weekend and limited out awesome good job chris we didn't catch anything last weekend of course we weren't fishing with tommy who are you fishing with Oh, oh, he missed it. Come back. Ah, he got me. God, dog it. What happened? He got me. What happened? It happens. All it right. happens. We'll try that again. Henry's watching. Hey, Henry. Yes, we are in Grand Isle, and yes, we're working. But usually we're in the office. This Unfortunately, this is not all the time. That was my quick release method. That was my quick release method. Right so I guess the salinity's back, huh? Yeah. We heard the salinity was too low for trout. Yeah, it was week. on the east. It was bad. Nobody was catching anything east. Everybody was going west because of Mississippi River water. But I think they checked it again, and uh, Kirk caught some at independence island so that's kind of that direction wade wade wants to know if surf fishing is picked up yet oh yeah surf, surf, surf has been on really really good reports the uh uh you know obviously surf fishing is a little more of a early more, well i want to catch the tide right same thing same thing but yeah surf fishing has been on and the Tell gorilla me. hole has been good right here on the corner of the pass you can get there by by on, on foot they've been catching a bunch of fish in the gorilla hole but what are the best conditions for catching fish at the gorilla hole? You gotta have a little south wind, like right now, to make waves because the, the good trout like the wave action because it throws the shrimp, you know, into the trough. And so you can't, a north wind is kind of tough because there's no waves. But today's perfect for it, I mean, but I don't see a boat on there. Ooh, there he goes. I think we got one. Right. Maybe, I, maybe I need to get a net. Let's see. Not that big. Nice fish. Nice. Good eating size. Not bad. It's been. He's making a mess of my boat, huh? Pretty much the size we've been catching all morning. We think there's some big fish in there, though, but we have live shrimp. <laughs> They're big enough to give me some trouble. That's a male. You hear him croaking? The male's gonna croak. 
Right. Let's see what we got in that box that we caught earlier. When we first got here, we were catching some, some big hogs like this, huh? Oh, yeah. Ten nice fish already. Yeah, ten big ones. Yeah. We're after the big ones, we ain't after the little. Ones. Alex wants to know if we're having any issues with sharks. No. No. I haven't. I haven't, I haven't had a shark bite my bait uh, all week. I took a little vacation this week. I've been here all week, so. <laughs> if there's any Aflac people, I'm on vacation. Oh, that's an unusual yeah. thing. Huh? Oh, here we go. Tony has another one. Head shake a oh, he got one on. Big boy on, huh? How's nope. it supposed to be this weekend? Is it the wind's supposed to die back down? I like 10 to 15 is the worst if it happens, but. Little redfish. Little redfish? Uh-uh, yeah. red. Might be a good eating sock. Let me get a little I'll take it. Uh, he's close. He's probably right at 15 if he is. That's the perfect eating redfish. He might make the grill. What you think? Let's see. I think he's 15? 16. I would nice say. Yeah, I'll Let's see. Let's say. It. Say he might, he might be. He might. I think he's gonna make it. He might make it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Easy. He's 16. 16. That's 16 what's, inches. It's a griller. Perfect. Perfect. It's a griller. All right. First redfish. Jay Forrest is here. And you know, sometimes and uh, that split shot will make a difference. You catch a little bit smaller fish. But if somebody wants to catch a lot of fish and do what I'm doing putting a split shot on so it'll get down lower we'll catch you more fish but the big trout the three four and fives and sixes they, they want it more natural they'll see that lead i mean they, they're really smart that's why they big yeah for people who just tuned in we are fishing live shrimp at the Kamenata pass rocks and we free line and we're free lining there are no weights just a um, circle hook just a hook that's right that's two it odd kale hook. that's a two odd kale hook with a nice live shrimp yeah. What pound test are we using so we can pull them in? I'm Seven. using 17. Tony's got 15, I, got I believe. 15. Yeah. I like that green trialene. It matches the color of the water. And Buggy does have some nice shrimp right now at Bridgeside, so we got to give him a plug for that. He, oh, yeah, no doubt. He, 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 he picks them up just some nice people. Yeah, it's beautiful down here, y'all. It's There's live bait to be had. Buggy's got it. Oh, right here by the boat. Oh, right by the boat. I saw him eat it. I saw him eat it. That was cool, man. That was Look. cool. I saw him. I got it. <laughs> Flash at it. Oh yeah, that was so cool. I saw the whole fish come up and eat him right by the boat. Yeah. Eric, Eric says Tommy Pellegrin had his limit by 7:30 in Cocodri. Wow. Yeah, Cocodri's been on Cocodri's fire. Cocodri's on fire because it's so because of the fresh water. You know, the Mississippi River is pushing a lot of those fish west. So I've been hearing a lot of that too. A lot of those fish that were in Venice or or full bayous, they, they move in here and further because of, of the salinity was bad. Yeah, I mean, we hadn't even gotten to the island at 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got out here. But, hey, we're fishing and it's beautiful. We have a nice little breeze. We're wearing cool breeze shirts, which makes it really nice. We're beautiful out here today. The water's nice and trout green. Got a few boats around us. I actually haven't. Oh, haven't seen if they're. Uh, five or six on, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll press the button, you know, or loosen the drag all the way if I'm in a rodeo, because I don't want to, you know, break his mouth. Guys oh. who are watching, I'm sorry if I'm not doing it. I'm like right in the sun right here. Oh, that's a nice that's fish. A hole right there, Tony. Ooh, that's a big fish. Big fish. What's, what's that about? Let's four, measure, solid that's, four, that's maybe a solid four. Let's maybe a little that. bigger. Let's measure that. Look, let me get on the other side so they can see it. It's a big, beautiful fish right there, huh? Four, five, four, six. You want to measure him? Four, five, four, six. He's uh, 
He is fat. He's fat. Let's see. He is uh, right at... Uh, 23. Right at 22, 22 inches. All right, 22 inches. Let's release him. We got enough food. Yeah, we can release him. He actually doesn't have hardly any specs on him. Sweet. I'm trying to release everything over 22. You know? Okay, so He's that one is going today. back to be caught again. Yeah, we, got, we got enough for the frying pan tonight. I'm going to eat that redfish myself. Everyone just tuning in, we are using live shrimp, free lining with what, what size uh, hooks? Two out kale hook. Two ounce kale hook. Two aught. Two aught kale aught, hook. Two, two, two slash two hook. No weight. Throwing it right over the rocks. It's a common out of past oh, yeah. oh. And oh. we are catching some hammer trout. Hammer trout. Oh, he came oh. off. Oh, I'm going to pull him oh. too hard. That was a ripple lip? Yeah. Oh, well. I had him solid too, but I must have had him just on the edge. You know those big trout, if I'm in a rodeo, I won't do that. I'm having fun right now, and we got a bunch of meat in there, so I'm going to slam them. You know, I like, I like to lift my rod up and slam them. But in a rodeo, if there's some money on the line or, or just pride, I'm going to take it easy on that fish because that was a big one. I'm, I'm going you know, to just, like Tony did with that last one. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to start fishing, so I'll just show you all the trout box one more time for those who didn't see it. We're catching them on live shrimp, Caminata Pass Rocks, in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Yeah, and you're a trooper for filming. Thank you. Y'all come down. It is beautiful down here, and it's supposed to be nice all weekend. Come down and to Grand Isle, Tommy V reporting live. Yep. Talk to you later.